Today, we celebrate the achievements and resilience of the people of African descent in the face of the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, in the face of systematic racism, in the face of racialized brutality perpetrated by public officials, including and particularly law enforcement officials, in face of the climate crisis and many other challenges. Systematic racism has leached into every aspect of the lives of people of African descent. From not being recognized at birth and therefore being registered at birth, through limited access to quality basic services such as education, health, and housing, to the lack of social safety nets, to constrained incomes and opportunities for employment, to intergenerational poverty that really accrues because of limited access to financial resources, limited access to land and land ownership. We therefore commend the states and the peoples of our region who, recognizing anti-Black racism and discrimination, choose to challenge both every day. We join forces with these individuals to continue to advocate for legislative and legal provisions, for policies and programs that are financed in responsive ways, and for the inclusion of people of African descent in every facet of their country's life, including in decisions at local level that directly affect their life and their livelihood. We call upon states to translate their commitments under international human rights law into accountability and redress, into reparatory justice and into tangible improvements in the lived situation of people of African descent. We look forward to the day when August 31st will be a positive celebration of our achievements, of our identity, of our legacy, and not merely voicing our concerns about the violation of our rights. Happy August 31st, and thank you for joining us in this endeavor.